For people who've lost their ability to walk, there was a time when an antique wheelchair like this one meant mobility. But there's something new under the sun, a device that step by step could soon help the disabled to walk again, if they could afford it. Our Sunday morning cover story is reported by Lee Cowan. So first, arms up overhead. It was a medical checkup that only took a few minutes, and Derek Demon was anxious to get on with it. The one-time high school surf champion and big-time snowboarder fell off a roof nearly a decade ago and broke his back, Thanks. leaving him paralyzed from the chest down. Ooh, not too bad, huh? But he's about to do something that only a few years ago would have been all but impossible. All right, let's get you up and walking. You heard right, walking. A moment later, we watched a paraplegic put one foot in front of the other. He's using what's called a robotic exoskeleton. Derek activates it by shifting his weight. Sensors and small motors move his legs, mimicking a natural gait, while his upper body catches up with the help of crutches. It's really heartbreaking to see some of these people out there without the ability to better their lives. Everybody should be able to live their lives the best they should. And this device gives people that option anyway. It definitely does, definitely does. The device, made by a Massachusetts company called Rewalk, was the first exoskeleton to gain FDA approval in 2014. Since then, a handful of other brands have gotten the government's go-ahead. But that doesn't mean getting one is easy. There's been a lot of things with spinal cord injury that have been hype, but I don't want to believe that with this one. Dr. Ann Vasily has been working with paralyzed patients like Derek in Long Beach, California, for some 25 years. There's been moments that have been very hard on him to not have that life that he had before. And his mom said to me, Derek can't stop smiling. As you might imagine, they're not cheap. Rewalk's newest model costs around $100,000. The onus is on us in the healthcare field to prove why this will benefit the patient medically, and ultimately save money. There you go. Those who are paralyzed suffer from a host of dangerous side effects that come from being in a wheelchair. One of the most common are pressure sores, where the skin can become infected because of the constant squeeze on the same area. It's the very condition that contributed to the death of Superman actor Christopher Reeve. Getting up and moving, Dr. Facilli says, is the best prescription to fight them. If it were my child, I'd rather buy this than buy a car. Uh, and if I keep somebody out of a hospital because they haven't developed a urinary tract infection and sepsis or a pressure sore, I bet I save that amount of money pretty quickly. But for some insurers, exoskeletons are still largely viewed as experimental. It is not walking for me. It's getting my body moving, keeping my heart rate up. Ashley Barnes was just 35 when doctors told her she would never walk again, the result of a botched medical procedure. Unlucky? Yes. But she soon realized, looking around her rehab facility, that there were others worse off. Some of these people can't talk. Some of these people can't use their hands. Um, And to just have my legs taken away and my bladder function taken away, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal, right? But I have my cognitive skills. I have all of that. And I'm grateful. Because she still had use of her hands and arms, she was a clear candidate for a rewalk. But when Ashley put in the request to her insurance... I got a denial. And I said, well, OK, that's only one no. You can't tell me no. And we get another no. No matter how hard we kept going, how hard I fought the fight, it was no, no, no. She even appealed to Texas Governor Greg Abbott, whom himself was paralyzed in an accident. But his office sent back this letter saying it really couldn't help. Come on, buddy. Come here. Tyler Densford was paralyzed in 2016 after he fell out of a helicopter during a training exercise while on active duty with the Tennessee Air National Guard. I didn't see any way of leaving a bed, and I thought, you know, why not just die? Why even be here? 
The Department of Veterans Affairs offered to cover exoskeletons for eligible veterans, and Tyler tried one at the VA facility in Atlanta. Although the experience was brief, he says he's never forgotten the feeling. The day of my accident was the last time I ever stood up, and being upright, it's almost like, hey, I'm normal again. For now, the best way to stretch his entire body is in a pool. An exoskeleton would give him a freedom like nothing else, but they require training, something the VA facilities near his home outside Memphis didn't offer. For my end, I feel like I've kind of like exhausted all resources. I'm not really sure who else to go to. Without it, the side effects of his paralysis continue to worsen. The day we were there, Tyler had just returned from yet another expensive stay in a hospital. I had to have a surgery done. And would that have happened if you'd had? If I'd had a rewalk, that would, I wouldn't have had a pressure sore. Yeah. Since our visit, the Department of Veterans Affairs has updated its policy, expanding the number of places that provide exoskeleton training. It's up to veterans like Tyler, however, to find a facility that meets those guidelines. And so far, he's still looking. Hello. Ashley Barnes was so sick of waiting, um, she took out the equivalent of a yeah, mortgage and one. bought one so, herself. Something her friend Carrie says has been a financial burden, yeah. but worth every um, penny. She's not a sit-down kind of person at all, which is, I guess, sort of ironic that you're in a, a wheelchair. wheelchair. <laughs> but she's up and going nonstop. At home, places like her kitchen are no longer as unforgiving as they once were. Being up with you makes me just feel, you know, back in the game. You got me? Yep. And okay. back in the game she is. She's even able to play basketball with her son, Brady. And score! <laughs> Aside Ashley's mom, never thought she'd see. She can stand up and look people in the eye and talk to people and give hugs, and that's just very, very important to her. It prolongs my life, because if I'm up and I'm moving and I'm active, then that's longer I'm here for my son. Is apple? As for Tyler Densford, he's tried all kinds of mobility devices, including this off-road wheelchair. But nothing replaces standing upright and walking. Technology to help those with spinal cord injuries has come a long way. The future is here, but for some, it still seems a long way off. If there's something that I can't do, I figure out a way to do it. Life has just slowed down for me, and I just always take it day by day and find another way to, to do something the way other people do it. I somehow think that you're going to figure out a way to get one of these things. I think within the next you know, couple years, I'll have one. You'll see me walking around in it.